<coughs> okay here instead of this i will use ng model and to use and after that i will bind it with our component property that is selected tasks and uh, we also have to import the form module in the home module okay now error should have gone all right so you can see i'm selecting and it has been enabled if i uncheck all then button has been disabled so i think this is all for now in next upcoming videos i will complete i will try to complete this to do list and my plan is to make this list fully functional and fully dynamic uh, we will go step by step i will step by step implement everything and uh, after completing our front end design we will finally start working on the back end to make it dynamic dynamic and working fine so we will also make it responsive we will make it dynamic I will create, uh, we have the task page, we have category and uh, after this we will create the create task page from where we will be able to create a task. We will also create a component for searching from the list. We will also create a function to delete the selected tasks and we will also add these dotted icons and we will also add these tags and so we have a lot of things to, a lot of interesting things to cover so we will see in the next videos thank you for watching my video